It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, what's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia? Thank you for being here. Uh, today is an actor who was on the Andy Griffith Show who had to earn his permanent spot on the comedy. He said, I didn't even have a park in space. When the Andy Griffith Show debuted in 1960, the original cast was there to stay. Griffith himself, Don Knotts as Deputy Sheriff Barney Fife, young Ron Howard as Opie Taylor, and Francis Bavier as Aunt B. In the show's post-Barney Fife years, one actor revealed that he had to fight for his spot on the show. In fact, he said he didn't even have a parking spot for quite a while and had to run out to feed the meter for hours. Jack Dodson joined the show's cast in his sixth season in 1966. The comedy was already running like a well-oiled machine, and Dodson was brought on, presumably, to help fill in the enormous hole left by Don Knotts' departure from the show a year earlier. As the Andy and Don, the making of a friendship and classic American TV show author Daniel Devise observed, Jack Dodson joined the Griffith Company as Howard Sprague, a mustachioed, milk toast, who lives with his mother, he wrote. Developmental, he stunted like Barney. Howard, nonetheless, possesses an ensemble of neurosis all his own. Howard Sprague was timid with women and manly men and felt most at home in his job as Mayberry's county clerk. Whereas Don had played Barney like nine or ten-year-old boy, Jack Dotson drew up memories of himself as a gawky adolescent and creating Howard Sprague, Devise noted. He was the most entertaining character to enter the Mayberry since Gromer Pyle. The actor was not handed an easy pass into the Andy Griffith show when he joined the show, having to prove he was a keeper. My first year on the show, I didn't have a parking space, Dotson was quoted by Devices saying. It was the number one show on the air, and I had to go out every two hours and put money in the meter. Howard won the hearts of Mayberry devotees with the number uh, 1996 episode, Big Fish in a Small Town, one of the strongest stories of the program's final years. With both Barney and Gomer gone, Jack Dotson did help desperate Griffith writers create conflicts for Andy. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I can't compare him to Gomer, or I can't compare him to Don Knotts. He's nowhere near the the character, is nowhere near entertaining as they are. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, but I found him dull as dust, and and, and that maybe that's just me, I don't know. But uh, what do you guys think of him? All I got for you here, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget about classic real comedy, facts, and trivia. It is on, it's a strange one now. The Big Bang Theory, and how it had a subtle nod to the Andy Griffith Show. Uh, classic TV facts and trivia is on Bewitched star Dick York, how he faced financial and physical struggles after an on-the-set injury. Classic rock, country music facts and trivia, Blue Oyster Cult had to ban cowbells from their show after the Cowbell Saturday Night Live skit. And Faith and Entertainment, WWE superstar Shawn Michaels opens up about his Christian faith. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. Please subscribe if you have not yet. Please like this video. Appreciate it. Have a great day. God bless you. And I'm praying for you.